Greetings, Daniel Persado here for Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition, and today we're going to look at letting it glow using the self-illumination property in Photoshop 3D. The key to doing this correctly is to have two meshes, one that will receive the light. In this case, you can see a extruded cube here, and the other, the ampersand here, the shiny red, to give off the light. And it's currently set to a solid color red. And I even have a texture map attached to it. We'll look, that, look at that in a second. And the key to using illumination is to get into the 32-bit color range. It automatically does it if you're using the color picker. Then 3D, it's going to be 32-bit. But if you create a new texture, make sure that you set that image mode to 32-bit. The document, the canvas that you're currently working on, doesn't matter. It's really just to get those lights to really shine bright and and use the quality of a 32-bit render. Now, again, you need two objects. If I hold down my Option key, there's a quick tip here. You can zoom in and out of your secondary 3D view here. You'll need to have the second object to receive the light. So in this case, I have a cube in the background, and it does have a texture here. It has a little bit of a bump map on there to give it a little bit of interesting look. I'm going to go ahead and set this off using the solid color. It's just doing a plain Adobe kind of red color. And you can see that it's laying that color on the uh, extruded object. But you can do so many different things. You could add bump maps to this ampersand so that parts of the, parts of the color is shooting out, for example. Um, I just did a quick change here. I'm going to open this texture up. Uh, where is it? There we go. I'm going to turn off that red and that red channel there, a red color ra rather, and use this gradient, save it, close it here real quick, and relight it. This is just using a gradient, and you can get some beautiful effects. I think this one is one of my favorites. And um, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show, just to get everybody thinking about self-illumination and the fun that you can have lighting things in your scenes in, in Photoshop, but it's really easy. You can get to it in just a few steps, and if you have any questions, Leave some comments on the channel. Thanks for watching.